Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Josh. Welcome to Kane Productions, and this is the very first episode of Gun Guides for Call of Duty World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the M1941 automatic rifle. The M1941 is a three-shot kill up close, but generally a four-shot kill from any other distance, occasionally five at really long distances. And this four-shot kill is a double than the average shot for both the M1 Garand and the SG STG44. But the thing is that this is remedied by the quick fire rate and the very large 25 round clip size which is uh, larger than most. From my personal experience I can say that the better attachments to go for in this gun would be the quick draw handle, uh, the extended mag, and if you really want to you could go for either advanced rifling which actually helps deal with the uh, the weakness of, of the, the shot, the damage output of this gun. Uh, or you could put on grip, although you don't really necessarily need it because I find the uh, M1941 is actually, it actually has a really low recoil rate. And even if it's not a, a low recoil rate, it's very controllable uh, recoil. So, when you spawn into your round, you're going to have 25 rounds in your clip, 37 with the extended mag, and you're going to have a starting ammunition setup of having 25 shots, plus 75 in your reserve, with a maximum allowed of 150 plus 25, so a total of uh, 175 rounds. Uh, this is obviously a fully automatic weapon, and as I said before, it, it really is a, it, it's a great great gun to use if uh, you're not overly aggressive and you're not overly defensive in your playstyle. I've seen people using this running gunning, I've seen people using this to camp, and uh, overall guys it's a multi-purpose gun, it's got it's got some great output, great stats, and uh, I I thoroughly recommend you use it if you're looking for a gun that you want to be using for uh, generally all purposes, like what the AK-47 was back in the day. In terms of maps, you can use this gun on every single map, as there is parts of every map that could be adapted for every style of play, but I would highly recommend you adapt this gun for the moderate to large uh, maps. It seems to be where it's most useful. Ladies and gentlemen, that essentially sums up the M1941. I hope you guys could take away some useful information and hopefully this can be incorporated into your playstyle somehow. I hope to see you guys next time and have a great day.